neighbor was outside. It's a bit strange. And there's a cat. I almost thought that somebody's talking on me. Cats are strange. Stalkers. Hey everybody, my name is Lonely Wolf J and today we have some special things for you to show. So as you can see, here is the freaking rebellion. I am working with the body filler on that kind of edgy thing on the middle right here it's heavy really uh, it's made out of wood as I s mentioned in the last video I can easily maneuver it with the two hands but for one hand use it's kind of bulky and heavy it's actually 170 centimeters uh, this will slide right on there and through that thing of wood da -da 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 -da, and we'll go up there and then I'll pour the rondo inside so if you do like big stuff like I do with that sword and you try to cover it the whole thing make sure that you use some sort of protection masks well shit the empty what the battery is almost empty on my camera, but this is not going to stop us. Not today. So, as you can see, here is the sword. Maybe you're asking yourself, what the heck is this triangular shape right there? It's 4mm wood. Maybe tomorrow I'll do the slush. Uh, this side is almost actually finished. It should be uh, sanded down. This side, should I should put a body filler on. But it looks great. I'm afraid I, I'll need to do that outside because this thing is heavy and I need to do the slush look like real good so I'll see about that. Hey folks, so as you can see here is a cross guard and it's actually, it's actually reinforced because those pieces are already hard and heavy and this is just uh, paper so it should be reinforced by those and also here there are screws on the inside so I can actually take those guards apart from that whole body and right now I'm gonna pour the rondo inside Hey everybody, what I'm finishing up these days are Rebellion and the Master Sword. I've been working on the Master Sword for a really really long time before I have worked with, uh, well, the old versions of Master Sword. Now I've used Rondo and uh, Wood to actually create it and it came out really really good. And the Rebellion of course, Rebellion is a heavy motherfucker and uh, it's really heavier than anything I've done ever so it is heavy Rebellion is even heavier than the pumpkin that I did well the pumpkin is empty on the inside but still yes the Rebellion is heavy as fuck and it's huge of course I don't know I don't know even if I have the right size because it should be 160 but I don't know I think it's 170 mine so it's a bit bigger I don't know I look at the reference pictures but everything seems fine don't know don't have a no idea maybe I'm just dumb like <clears throat> okay I'm gonna show you this is a reference picture so, Dante and Nero, and here is the Rebellion. And, see that? Oh, I don't know. So, here's a comparison between Rebellion and Master Sword. They are both on the floor, and yeah, Master Sword is tiny and light. When I first uh, hold Master Sword, like, in the phase that it is right now, it felt like a real sword, it felt huge, it felt like a master sword. But right now, when I hold it like this, 
it is really not that huge like in comparison with the rebellion this seems like a toothpick it took me a really really long time to come to this stage right here I will run the, the handle now as you can see uh, my face I mean faces of the skeletons are kind of finished I mean the whole heads are kind of finished I, I put a a bit of uh, primer on so you can see teeth are actually fine ready nose and also the expressions like I put some a, a bit of anger in their faces see that one and yes of course I've added another little spine, a small little thingy because I've added a, a sword stand because that thing I couldn't actually put it anywhere because it was too heavy so I created this little thingy and now my sword is really really stable if I do this it will not move yes so today what I'm going to do is rondo the handle up there and as you can see there's a bit of excess material too left only to cut it off and then put a the top on so this part also the horn this horn is now finished it's kind of soft still but I'm gonna leave it and hopefully it's gonna get harder um the next thing is uh, the crown I was not even sure how to actually create crown what I'm thinking about about crown is this or maybe this if you can see that uh, so this is the crown on top of the handle so it's it's actually pommel I don't know how to create that I think I'll use a plastic this jug right here is from proteins um, and I think I'll use that one or maybe I thought about aluminium well I still I still don't know I'll see about that hello guys uh, before on though I, I wish to share a bit of knowledge with you because I had some bad experience and it happened just with that bad boy so with rebellion uh, with closed with closed molds out of paper like this you make sure that you make this kind of stuff those are uh, windows and what is this is actually you will know if a Rondo mixture is actually reaching that part of your mold you can uh, then seal the whole thing with that kind of tape I don't know what this is called but I think you'll know or you can maybe also uh, use this one but with white one visibility is much much higher okay huh, nice it's hard let me see. Ugh. What the crap? What are you made of? Let me look this in a logical way. If this was made by any chance out of full metal could be really pain in the ass I mean it is real heavy so let me do a small little test to show you and I'm not muscular at all I cannot lift it anymore okay I can hold it like this I can do what it needs to be done and then I'm going down and down and down and I cannot handle it okay it's down I'm trying to lift it Holy shit, I cannot lift it with one hand. I can surely not lift it with one hand. I need to use them both and then like sh slash. I don't, I don't know how heavy it is, but as I hold it like this, I would say around five to six kilograms. Only three kilograms. Yes, so as you can see, handle is casted out of Rondo 
body filler, uh, raisin, polyester. This horn broke off again, which drives me crazy. It's, this one is strong. This one, though, it's a pain in the ass. I don't know what I'm going to do with that one. Uh, the biggest trouble right now are the, the cross guards. Why? I thought that I could unscrew them. But when I tried that, I cannot because they are stuck. Okay? I wanted to unscrew them and then uh, clean everything up, send down stuff. But I cannot do that. The, the paper is still inside, you can see it right here. And even there. And there, I don't know how can I get it out. The handle was not that hard. Here's a hole, a pretty huge hole also here. And then up there, I'll need to cut that off. I cannot wait for that to be finished. Let us go through what really needs to be done. First of all, I need to work something out with a horn. I need to finish cross guard, clean the inside out, uh, finish the rib cage. Uh, send down a little uh, of, of blade, then finish up the handle, make crown, uh, put up the spike on top there, and then the next thing is work a little with details, and then paint the whole thing. So that's the main thing. What do we need to do? We need to sanding, adding, sanding, add, repeat, send, add. Repeat, send, add, repeat, send, add, repeat.